These are outstanding and necessary now as we are really in a crisis moment. We don't have the luxury of a lot of time. And so fortunately, these new modalities allow virtually instantaneous rewriting of subconscious programming to give us our power back. Okay. Five years time for you. What would you want to be doing? In what, five how years? How do you see things, yeah. Well, I'd love to create a, a, a movie of the nature of how cells work in the community of cells as an educational device mm -hmm. so that our children don't have to go through 20, 30, 40 years of anguish before you realize how you are uh, this community of cells and how this community works and how uh, an understanding of that community can empower you to have a healthy, happy, and wonderful experience on this beautiful planet. And last words of advice to the viewers. Well, I just, the uh, last word is this, we are very powerful individuals and that we have to let go of all those beliefs uh, in Australia called cutting the tall poppy. Mm -hmm. It says, oh, you're just an average person. No, we're all superpower people. And we have to recognize that the only problem we have is not our frailty in ourselves, it's the frailty we acquired in our learning experiences. And when we reverse that, everybody will be able to do the miracles that Jesus talked about because he said that himself. He said it was all in your belief. He said you could do everything I can do, but you don't believe it. And what a strange situation. The book is called The Biology of Belief. And it reveals exactly, and I, I'm not really brought up in that religion, yet I attest to virtually everything that man said for the reason that he was absolutely biologically correct, that we can renew our lives with our beliefs. Bruce, thank you so much for being on the program. I know that there is, is so much in your book. Having, having, um, I haven't read it as such. I've had to flick through it because I only got it a few days before the interview. So much in there. It's a very powerful book. Well, I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of fun. There's a lot of laughing to go on, and so it's fun if you can read science and laugh. Mm, absolutely. Um, and the, uh, the website for the show, conversationswithrobin.com. If you go into the recording section, you'll actually see a link. Uh, there for, for Bruce and once again I'd like to uh, thank Chris Hooper Promotions because they allowed us to interview both you and Greg for the previous program. Um, ChrisHooperPromotions.com I believe is her website and she brings some amazing people out to Australia because one of the things that I know has been a struggle is how to get this word out there. You got any good ideas of how to do this? The, the knowledge that this you and Greg... Is, this is what it's all about right mm -hmm. now, is getting it out in the media, mm -hmm. getting it on the internet, because it's information that where the power comes from. Because mainstream doesn't seem to be that interested at the moment. Uh, mainstream, uh, where the money comes from, no, mm -hmm. because uh, the money is associated with taking control of victims. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're a victim, then they, you support a business. <laughs> how, and I know, you know we're, we're just about to close this, how is it in America, though? How receptive is mainstream in America? Well, it's interesting because, as I said, like things like the pharmaceutical industry are very repressive of this information because they really depend on you needing them for help. Mm -hmm. And uh, they own the media pretty much, and it's been very difficult. And yet I really love it because uh, individuals are putting on their shows. The Internet is bringing this to a much wider audience. People are waking up anyway. Mm -hmm. It's a time we have to wake up. Uh, it, it, uh, necessity is the mother of invention. We're in a crisis situation. It is a necessity that we wake up to survive on this planet. Yeah. And the power of one person to affect change in a positive manner is phenomenal. And I guess that's the message, isn't it, for people to understand how powerful they are to affect positive change. Absolutely. Yeah. On that note, Bruce, once again, thank you so much. Rob and I so appreciate this opportunity to, to give this good news out. Thank you. You're welcome. And all the best with all your travels and all your presentations. Thank you so very much. And see you next time and take care.